I started posting on YouTube in like 2007, I think. And over like the 12 years, I posted a lot of guitar videos, kind of sporadically. Didn't really get a lot of traction, which I'm totally fine with because, you know, the YouTube sort of free market economy decides what's valuable, what's interesting, and that's totally fine. It's a good place to test ideas. But if there's one thing I've noticed over those 12 years of posting, it's that people who comment on YouTube are amazing. They're the nicest, most complimentary people ever. So if you're really having a bad day, just post a video of yourself online, instant pick me up. So today I thought I would take a moment to recognize all those heroes in our midst on YouTube who are fighting the good fight, commenting on YouTube. Not the kindergarten teachers or humanitarians or first responders, but those true heroes who are out there posting comments on everyone's videos. Thank you. So let's read some of these beautiful comments today. Now just for some context, there's really only one, maybe two videos on my channel that have gotten any sort of real traction and gone viral. Um, let's just give you some context on that. I watched Elon Musk's appearance on the Joe Rogan show and I thought there was a really interesting narrative kind of weaved through that conversation. In isolation you can kind of hear what he's saying better. And so I decided to mash it up with some video and some audio and just share it with everyone because I thought it was worth sharing. Because a lot of people don't have the attention span to actually sit down and watch an entire Rogan podcast. And I also wrote all of this in the description of the video. And people were so grateful for this video that they commented in droves, like 8,000 comments on the video. Um, so I just want to read you some of the most complimentary, affirmative, beautiful comments that people were leaving. So S. Beck, S. Beck 22 Beckley took some time away from the law firm he's partnering at to leave this beautiful comment, do a little pro bono work of his own. It says, this is just a mashup of dialogue from the Joe Rogan interview with some stupid emotional music in the background. Shake my head. Thank you for that. Thank you for your razor-sharp investigative journalism. Moving on. DDTY, not to be a follower of popular opinion, writes, Dumbest shit. Thank you for that, DDTY. Evolution First Evo, unfortunately, writes, To stop this. I'm glad that he used the period to ensure that we know that it's a complete clause, and I wish him all the best and a speedy recovery from his stroke. Creative Dogs was nice enough to pause his work with disabled veterans to come set me straight on this one thing. He says, so this is audio from Rogan Podcast, put over some bullshit dramatic stock footage from Adobe. It's from a different site actually. GTFO of here, douchebag. GTFO of here. I guess that works, but it just reads weird. I did another video with my friends who also play guitar where we swapped a speaker for an amp, which apparently is extremely controversial to do. Uh, nevertheless, Yo Mama says, lay off the weed before you film, especially the guy on the left. That'd be my friend Byron. I assure you, nothing was smoked before, during, or after production, uh, but I do see and I accept that burn because it was a bit of an awkward dialogue, so I'll take that one. Blues in the Blood writes, just what is with these haircuts? Okay, I, that's fine. You know, if, if you're gonna be mean, at least make it funny, and that's pretty good. That's, yeah, okay. To be fair, I just got a haircut. It wasn't the best one, so just lay off, okay? Hair grows back. It's those comments that are, you think about those comments. It's not the ones that are just overtly mean. It's like the ones that are subtle, that really just keep bouncing around in the dome for days after. You're like, that was a bad haircut. Okay, on the same video where we're testing this guitar amp, there's probably one of my favorite comments of all time. Uh, La 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 One uh, writes simply two morons. <laughs> now I gotta say La La One. I don't know what your intention was when you wrote this, but you accidentally inspired a meme that has gone viral across a number of group chats. It's frequently posted as like a reaction gif among my friends. Someone says something in a chat, and someone will just screen cap your comment. Two morons, and we all have a good laugh. So unintentionally mean, hilarious. Thank you for the free comedy. But you know, it's a cool thing to say to a, like a stranger you don't know. You just like walk up to somebody. You guys are both morons. Which is, seems like a cool guy. It's a good way to make new friends. Just like an you know, easy introduction. That would be the way I would make friends. That's personally the way I lead most new conversations. But it's just so succinct that I can't even be insulted. George Hamilton was able to find someone to cover a shift at NASA so he could take a little time off and write, I came here just to point out how much of a clickbait title that is. Thank you, George. 
I appreciate those kind words. Coxman83 is enjoying his newfound freedom outside the state penitentiary and is now pursuing a career as an investigative journalist or a detective. He eloquently writes, This is a literal, not figurative, ripoff of Elon's combo with Joe Rogan with fanciful music and background. I like your tank top. All the best in your recovery from the head injury. The Ninja, with a beautiful economy of words, writes simply, What a load of shit. Very succinctly said, Red-eyed, dirt-riding dog lover, who I think it's fair to assume is not a disgruntled Harvard professor, writes, before having a stroke, I think, Stolen from Joe Rogan's show, you unoriginal twerp for likes, lol. So I'm glad he put the lol at the end, or else I would have been offended, but, you know, typically this would be, you know, a fairly abrasive thing to say to a complete stranger, but where he said lol at the end, I feel like it's fine. He looks like he does CrossFit, so I'm not going to pursue this one too much. If anyone wants to get into Gold's gym right now, he seems distracted. I think you can get in for free past the front desk. Marine PC, again, with the beautiful economy of words, just says shit, which is, you know, in retrospect, that's kind of really open for interpretation. Is it an insult? Like, this video is shit? Is he saying shit? I left the oven on or I have to shit. I'm gonna interpret it as probably the latter, but we'll probably never know. Ah, we also have a lady commenting, finally. So Joe Smith was kind enough to share her racial dating preferences with us. She tells me, sick. I would never date a white boy. Chinese men are more hot. Hmm, sick, in the context that I understand it, is like, sick, like cool video, that's sick. Or is it like, this is sick, this video is sick. I would never date a white boy. I get it. Chinese men are cool. And I don't blame you. That is exactly the kind of information that I always share with strangers on the internet. Thank you for sharing, Joe. CJ was really hesitant to share his true feelings, but when pressed, he finally gave in and gave us a little nugget. He says, This edit is terrible. Too much stopping and starting with him talking. Beyond annoying. Couldn't finish the vid. I'm so sorry. I will fully refund your money if you want. Thanks, CJ. Lip Jobby says the thing that you always say to people who give you free content. This guy sucks. Thanks, man. If you send me your email address, I will gladly, again, refund you at the purchase price of this video to your original payment method. So there you have it. 15 beautiful, eloquent, articulate comments from 15 of my biggest fans here on YouTube. No, but in all seriousness, I know YouTube feels disconnected from reality and it's just you're sitting behind a keyboard and you just don't like a thing, maybe you're annoyed at work and it's easy just to come home because you can't explode on your boss, it's easier to explode on some random person. The thing to remember is, you know, when you post a comment on someone's channel, it's not like it's going to, you know, the CBS network executives or a whole team who's gonna read it in a boardroom. It's like one dude comes home and sets up a camera and records a video you know, because they like doing it. It's fun. After work, after going to a real job and doing real things and going to the grocery store and having relationships and friends and then taking time to sit on the couch during the week and to edit videos. So you're really talking to a real human. You just gotta keep that in mind. I mean, if you still wanna be a jerk, that's cool too, I guess. I feel like if you don't like something, it's really easy to just transpose whatever unhappiness that you're feeling in other areas of your life just onto a keyboard and onto some random stranger. But if you imagine doing it in real life, it gets really hilarious and weird. Just imagining. Before you go type out something, imagine stopping, walking out your door, and going up to someone on the street and saying the exact same thing. That's a good test whether or not you should probably say it. Imagine someone just shows you the thing they created, a sculpture, a piece of pottery, they show it to you, like, hey, look, you can, no, you don't even have to look at it, you can have it for free. Like, that sucks. You're the worst. I think you would make a lot of friends, for one. If someone does a performance for you, do you usually walk up to the stage after the band's done, you're like, you suck. Probably not. Even if you didn't like the band, you're just like, ah, not for me, and you just walk out and go do your own thing. If someone does a performance, you're like, that's garbage. I hope your family dies. This is clickbait. Be nice to each other. Way more fun when somebody leaves a nice comment instead of a rude one. I mean, rude can be funny, don't get me wrong, uh, but we're all just on here trying to, you know, be a part of the community and have fun. So, be nice. It's better that way. 